In a new twist to the cricket bashing controversy, the police now claim the man they were trying to arrest had tried to grab an officer's gun. And it's now emerged that state parliament could be called on to look at the way police have investigated the incident. Since Friday, police have been defending this. Today, the union representing Constable Thomas Murdoch hit back. We had an offender that was not only attacking him, but also grabbed his gun belt, could have taken his firearm off him, and the police officer struck him in the shoulder to release his grip. But witnesses too scared to speak on camera disagree. He was standing with one hand holding a cup of beer and the other hand down beside his side until a cup of beer was knocked out of his hand and he was pushed over the seat. The man was struck at least five times and charged with resisting arrest, not assaulting police. But the focus is not only this response, but this defence from Assistant Commissioner Mark Murdoch. And police took uh, action that we deemed appropriate. Hours after that interview, Mr Murdoch found out he was referring to his own son, triggering questions about how he was able to provide that answer without speaking to these officers. There is simply no way they could have given officers a clean bill of health when they didn't even know the name of the officer involved. The police minister, Mike Gallagher, is refusing to comment on the controversy. His office says it's an operational issue, but his parliamentary rivals aren't convinced and may push for an upper house inquiry into the police and may push for an upper house inquiry into the police response. If the police minister refuses to act, the person primarily responsible, well then parliament needs to act. An internal police inquiry is also reviewing the incident. Lee Jellisek, 7 News.